All right, welcome to another video in physics. Uh, in this video, we're going to be discussing one of the problems you guys had in the textbook, uh, number 72. This is the refrigerator problem. All right, so when we appliances, let's go ahead and jump in. Your family just had a new refrigerator delivered. The delivery man has left and you realize that the refrigerator is not quite in the right position. So you plan to move it several centimeters. If the refrigerator has a mass of 88 kilograms, the coefficient of kinetic friction between the bottom of the refrigerator and the floor is 0.13. And the static coefficient, coefficient of friction between these same surfaces is 0.21. How hard do you have to push horizontally to get the refrigerator to start moving? Okay, so we want to, re we want to move this refrigerator. So we want to find out how much force do we need to apply to this refrigerator to just get it moving. So there's a few things that I want to consider. We want to deal. We want to find out the amount of force, uh, the amount of friction that is that we're dealing with in the refrigerator. And there's two, two uh, values that we were given for friction, coefficient of friction. We were given the value for kinetic and static coefficients. Now, because we want to find out how much, how hard we have to push initially to get it moving. So that, that means that the refrigerator is in a static state, it's not moving. So that means that kinetic friction, the kinetic coefficient is not what we need. We need the static coefficient because it is in a static state, it is not moving. We need to find out how much force we need to initially uh, apply to get the refrigerator moving. So our F, our friction, our F sub friction, we're looking for that, for the mu, for the static friction, okay? So this is the formula that we have, uh, if you recall from your text, mu for the static coefficient times the normal force, which is the mass times gravity, right? So we know what we're looking for here. We're looking for mu, which we've been given. We're looking for mass, which is another given. Okay, so I'm highlight highlighting those in the, uh, in the reading. And then gravity, that's just a constant that we should have memorized already, 9.8 meters per second squared. So I know the values that I'm looking for, and it's just a matter of plugging it, plugging them in and uh, working out the math. So 0.21, the static coefficient of friction, multiplied by the mass and the gravity, gives me 181 newtons. So I need to apply 181 newtons to get this refrigerator moving. Okay, well that does it for this problem. Either way, I hope this helped, and good luck in your studying.